Tip it for money. Total quiet. No one talk. Cut. Crack. No deal. Yes. You generated all of these unresolved things without know how they all turned out. Get some people to walk through. I don't see anybody. It's all too static. Let's go. Adam Driver and Penelope Cruz stars in this latest film to be released in theaters, Ferrari, a story about Enzo entering his sports car company's team into the 1957 Mil Migla. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. Adam Driver stars as the main protagonist for this film. What was his previous role before this project? Leave your answer in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. The story comes from a story from Brock Yates, Enzo Ferrari, The Man, The Cars, The Races, The Machine. The story of Enzo Ferrari, a former race car driver turned auto mogul, is front and center. We see how he lived with both his wife and his lover, how he worked, and crucially what happened around the catastrophic 1957 Mil Migla race where one of the cars crashed into a group of spectators, killing 11 and launching a years-long legal entanglement. For years, filmmaker Michael Mann was trying to make a movie about Enzo Ferrari, the Italian motor racer driver, entrepreneur, and eventually the founder of the Ferrari automobile Marche. It looked as though Ford versus Ferrari might have killed the project at one point, but whatever dents made in the hood of man's project, they appear to have been long fixed. Aside from Michael Mann giving his all in this film, he wasn't the only one. Adam Driver had to wear a skull cap, wig, and neck prosthetics to become Enzo Ferrari, and went on to explain what that detailing process was like. Probably two or three weeks of prosthetics, even after we shot the first week, Michael wanted to make an adjustment. His kind of theory is sometimes the prosthetics become so advanced and they're so well done and you look at it and you acknowledge that's impressive, but it kind of divorces you from the actor playing it. And he mm. wanted to connect with him right away. Enzo was an Italian automobile manufacturer, designer, and race car driver whose Ferrari cars often dominated world racing competition in the second half of the 20th century. And of course, Adam Driver isn't the only cast member in this film. Shailene Woodley, who plays Enzo's mistress, sits down in an interview and talks about her character. I like to refer to her as the love of his life. <laughs> <laughs> it was Italy during the war. Enzo and Lena met and started this romance and then she got pregnant. 
during the war. And they decided to stay together throughout her pregnancy and raise this child together. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. It was such an integrity to the pure artistic ambition. I mean, very healthy, ego-driven artistic ambition that will drive an actor as it drives Adam to, I have to get there. I have to be in this moment. I have to be in this state of mind. I have to feel within these certain emotions. In another featurette, we get a close-up look at the cars that were used and how the cars were made, not just choosing any old car for the film. We are having a few of the cars actually made from aluminum body panels, where the guys are hammering out the aluminum in the shapes necessary, hammer welding them together, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, to the point where it's like, we shouldn't even paint these cars, that you can see the craftsmanship. It was revealed that the film faced an extraordinary challenge in recreating the vintage cars that crash and burn on screen. Picture supervisor Danny Trapuk sourced a staggering 393 vehicles for the movie, necessitating a transportation infrastructure of 333 car carriers due to insurance restrictions. Michael Mann asked us to reproduce cars from the Mille Miglia of 1957. We are using the old techniques that makes the car wonderful. But we are at the same time using new technology that can give us more information. Michael Mann, known for his distinctive visual style and compelling storytelling in his films like Heat and Thief, is a self-professed car enthusiast. According to Tripuk, Mann's extensive knowledge about cars left no room for creative input when it came to selecting the best vehicles for the film. What is it that we wanted to get out of it? And then I think two days or so before we shot, we were in the room and we worked out blocking, which is another example of, you know, there's a lot of technical things going on, but Michael doesn't tell actors to come in and place them where he wants them to be. We figured it out as, as actors and director. Nagel's expertise was indispensable to man, even though the director insists that Ferrari is in a racing movie. The film is primarily about Enzo, the man, not the cars he built. Michael is not only paying attention to our performances, he's paying attention to the way the light is moving in every single take, the way the camera operator is conducting his business, and there's so many different elements at play. Get some people to walk through. I don't see anybody. It's all too static. He's a conductor. He's waiting for the, that perfect perfect symphony to come together. And it focuses more on his romantic and financial entanglements than his motorsports legacy. Still, there is a ton of racing action in the film. With that, there had to be a stunt director to make those scenes look realistic. If you look at the cars, they're open top. And that era, they didn't wear seat belts. So I had to overcome that. My drivers all wore five-point harnesses, but they're, they're hidden by the wardrobe. Uh, we also had roll bars that were, were removable. So if we were doing anything precarious, we'd put the roll bars in, and then they'd digitally remove the roll bars. But oftentimes, we didn't have the roll bars in. In another behind-the-scenes featurette, the cast tells us about what went into building the world surrounding the story. Playing this character is like, okay, who is this new person that I have to really get to understand as deeply as I can? When you end up understanding them, you end up loving them. Of course you're gonna go through paranoia and doubt and insecurity. And cut. Along the way, there is a ton of stuff we have learned from the making of this film and Enzo himself. He wasn't from an elite family that had a lot of opportunity. He had to make it. And same with me. I have nobody that's in the entertainment industry, but it's something that I loved and felt confident where it's like, well, no one can stop me from doing it. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Adam Driver previously played Mills in 65, a space pilot who crashes on an unknown planet and attempts to escape while surviving with a young girl. I think we should try and get the over at the same time. I wanted a particular kind of active lighting that's apparent in Caravaggio's paintings where the light seems to enter very dramatically. And it's almost as if accidentally the light is hitting a part of a leg, a hand, slice of light hits a face. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about this film and what do you think was the most challenging part in putting everything together? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.
I don't have half a million. You will if you make a deal. Their foreplay is negotiation. And I think that's really telling of who they used to be. He falls in love again for a moment, and then they get to relive it for a second. 